The following video is going to show you how to take something from Adobe Animate and have it play in Adobe Captivate. All right, so the first thing on the screen, I've created a simple mask here, just a simple animation. Basically just shows the word image scrolling across the screen. This is Adobe Animate. So once you're done creating your animation in Adobe Animate, you're going to go to File and you're going to go to Publish Settings. In Publish Settings, you're going to make sure OAM Package is selected. Basically what the OAM Package is, is that it's just going to basically zip your files up and put it into a format that um, Adobe Captivate will be able to understand. So once that's selected, I'm going to simply click Publish. It's going to publish my file. I click OK because it's done. I see that it's done. I'm going to close Animate. And I'm going to go into Captivate. Now I have Captivate already open. I've just picked a new, I went to File, New Project, and picked a blank project. So I just have one file on the screen here. I'm going to go to Media, HTML5 Animation. I'm going to find where that is. I see I called it masks, mask.oam, and I'm going to click open. You can see that it's actually going to put it on the screen, and you can see it's already playing just in this preview mode here. But if I actually preview it to see what it's going to look like, I'll go to preview HTML5 in browser, and you can see that it's working. That's all you have to do. It's a very easy process. Now, notice the size. That's just because I, I have the you know an incorrect size in animate I would need to go back and change my animate file size to make this fit if this is how I wanted it to fit but you can see that it's playing perfectly in captivate and that's all you need to do to play an animate file in captivate um, and just to show you quickly what that actual animate file looks like go to my mask OAM file here. I'm going to right click on this or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the extension to zip and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside this file so you can see what's actually in here. Here's the actual HTML file, here's the JavaScript file, the image, and the XML. So that's what's actually in this OAM folder. I just changed it to a zip file because that's basically what it's reading it as. Thank you.